Well, I'm very happy then uh, also I'm proud that uh, Indian company HSMM Group has invested, it is also contributing to the economic development of Laos and also employment of local people. So I'm very happy about that. I'm sure that the exchange of information and knowledge, best practices that are being discussed, and also the presentation made by Mr. Sadiq about the vision of the company and how it contributes to corporate social responsibility as well as the charitable activities that they are doing. Apart from contributing to the economy of Laos, apart from generating employment in Laos. So all these issues were made in his presentation. And I also found interesting discussions about the problems that are being faced by some of the Vietnam province-based Lao businessmen. So this kind of exchange of information certainly helps in understanding what are the problems and how to overcome them. And also this morning when I met the governor, I conveyed to him that if they need any assistance, India would be happy to send an expert for a short term. Because I believe one of the problems that are being faced here include the plant pathogens or the problem in the Agarun plantation itself. So I said, if the governor writes to the foreign minister in the india Lao Joint Cooperation Commission so we can exchange information. Well, I think uh, you should put this question to Lao government official. In, in our opinion, I am sure that the Lao has already started harmonizing the laws you know, of the government and also they are preparing to uh, face this situation because a lot of work needs to be done because as of now Laos has been facing only Lao problem, Lao competition. Now you will have the competition of 10 countries and anybody and everybody from these 10 countries, ASEAN 9 countries, they, you cannot stop the services, you cannot stop the business, you cannot stop the investment from any of the nine countries getting into Laos. So therefore, in such situation, what they call survival of the fittest, whoever is fit will survive in the competition. So I am sure that uh, with Laos uh, manpower, which is quite uh, resources available, and the government is doing a lot of work in harmonizing these regulations and laws. Laos will be able to come out successfully, but uh, this needs to be done on a uh, proactive basis now, because the time left is very little. We need to do that, but I am confident that Laos will be able to uh, come into Asian economic community very successfully.